And you lived, when you were at Butternuck, you lived in Omaha. In Omaha. And then I went to Houston. And uh, What was Omaha like? Because there's Omaha, still some, Omaha, some pretty important a, people come out of Omaha. Omaha, well, you know, I lived uh, across the street from, uh, from a guy who had no celebrity at the time. He didn't go to work. He did some funny thing on the telephone. Uh, he paid $29,000 for his house. I paid twenty seven five for mine. And uh, uh, his name was Warren Buffett. And uh, So you must be worth trillions. I'm not. I could have been. What, why? Because he came over to see me uh, in 1960, and he said... So you're, like, uh, you're just sitting on the street talking? Yeah, and he came over and he said, Don, I'm just thinking about you. He said, I had, I think, four kids at the time. He said, uh, you know, he had three. He said, you know, you got to think about college. And co co I said, well, Warren, I'm working on grade school right now. I'll get around <laughs> to college a little later. And he said, I'm forming a little partnership. And a few of us are putting $10,000 into it, and uh, I might be able to turn that into something. And uh, now remember, he didn't go to work. I worked. I went he, was out sitting, every day. he was sitting above his garage in an office reading portfolios and, well, and annual reports. Yes. And when I'd come home after working all day, one of my kids would say, we had a wonderful time with Mr. Buffett today. He took us to the park, or he had a train set up on the third floor of this house. And, uh, so you thought he was a dilettante? So he did away. He, so he said, if you give me $10,000, I might be able to do something about it. Well, I didn't have it, but I could have borrowed it from my father. But I went into Mickey and said, can you imagine giving $10,000 to a guy who doesn't get up and go to work in the morning? 